how to bring in an SVG file into the new Cricut Design Space software that works with the Cricut Explorer machine. So let's get started. I've pulled up the Design Space software and I'm going to go ahead and click on Create a New Project. There we go. Sorry. All right, it's going to load here. And as you see, my screen is completely <laughs> blank because I'm not doing anything quite yet. So let's give it a second. Usually some boxes come in over here. Well, let's go to over here. On the left-hand side are the four main things you use. It's insert image, upload image, add text, and set canvas. So let's get started with upload image because that's where we're going to grab our SVG from. So let's upload image. And I have two choices, a basic upload, which is a JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, or a bump, or the vector upload, which is your SVG. Let's do that for now, and I'll have another video about the basic upload. So let's go to vector upload, and I'm going to browse somewhere. Well, here's an easy way to do it. Oops, <laughs> help if I spell it right. Dot SVG. There we go. Okay, and there's more than that. Here we go. Okay, here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Apparently, I have quite a few on here now, don't I? Let's see what happens when I click on that one. There we go. Yeehaw! <laughs> Okay, and I am going to, you can um, choose an image name and then you can choose some tags. So I'm going to choose St. Patrick's Day. These are tags you might search for things under. Leprechaun, who knows how to spell that? Shamrock. Okay, and then I'm going to save my image. And there he is, uploaded. So let's add him. Oh, we can see him, in, and I clicked on him, and now, so it's highlighted in that green check marks there. You'll notice that whenever you're going to insert images, and I'm just going to click on Insert Images, and there he is. And over here, you can see all the layers that he encompasses. So there's his face, there's the face, and all the yellow, and everything else. Now let's make him bigger. Easy to do, because you just go down to the corner, and you click and drag. Let's make him nice and big so you can see him. Let's say I want to put him on a card. I can go over here to set canvas and I can pick, there's a million canvases here. And what this means is this just shows you the sizing, but this none of this will cut out. And you can see there's loads of stuff. There's bags and banners and blazers and jackets and cards and all even your Cricut machine, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to choose a square card and I'll click on done. And then here comes my canvas property box. Now I've got a card here and it's telling me it's three by three. Well, I don't want three by three, I want bigger. I'm gonna go to that and scroll down and get six by six. And then I can also change the background. So let's change the background to orange. I know that's gonna be hello, but let's try that. And I'm gonna say update canvas. And there's my updated canvas. And so you can try different colors as the, I'm not going to cut this, you guys, because I'm not cutting an orange card, except at Halloween. But um, you can go ahead and change the canvas all you want. But keep in mind, this actually, the card doesn't cut out. It's just to show you what would be like if you did cut this card out. All right, let's take a little peek at these layers again. Now there's a little thing on here called sync. It's up here in this top right-hand section. When I press on sync, it breaks all the stuff down into mats. So I've got a mat that's got all black stuff on it, white, um, orange, that looks like little cheeks, on and on and on. If I want, for instance, some of the colors to be the same, so I've got all these greens here. Let's see if there's a green I could. Let's say I want these greens here, which is the shamrock, the hat, and something. I can't even tell what is that. Looks like his whole little body. Let's say I wanted him, that all to be dark green. I could just drag it down to the dark green layer. Oh, you can even drag individual pieces. Look at that. And then it changes. Let's bring that back up. 
I didn't know you could do that. So it looks like this is the part. We could drag the hat. Then his hat is darker. So you can drag, and you can drag whole sections. So let's bring that whole section down. See? Now I'm like, how do I get that back? <laughs> so if you do this like me and you wait, I want it back, just hit the undo button. And miraculously, it's all better. So happy about that. I'm going to also put the hat back because I kind of like the hat at that middle green. Oh, all better. Okay, that is all we do to import an SVG, and it comes in perfectly all set. So, okay, next we're going to go ahead and press that cut button up at the top, and that will bring all our mats up that we are going to be cutting. And it does it by color, so you can see it here the black, the lighter green, the dark green, the super light green, and there's also some, <clears throat> the mats are all numbered, and so you can use arrows to look at all of them. So that's pretty handy. You can see what you've got going on. Let's go back to this first, first mat, and I want to point out that you can move these items around. So you're not just stuck cutting everything up in the upper left-hand corner. Oops, let's not have those all touching. Eek. That won't work out good. Okay, so for instance, if you're somebody who likes to put different colored paper on mats, so like that upper six by six corner would be black, and then this bottom looks like six by eight would be green, then you could go ahead and lay your paper out there, out like that, so you wouldn't have to keep load and unload your mat. So that's kind of handy. You can move all that stuff around. Next, I also want to point out to you guys, you can decide how many of these you want. So up there it asks you, how many do you want? And so I put in two. Well, now it's going to double everything I need to make that leprechaun. So you can see two hats. So that's pretty neat. You can see two of everything that you need for this project. So pretty cool. And you'll notice everything then reverts up to that upper left. So if you moved everything around to section it off in different parts of the mat, that's now going to get undone as you add more. So something to keep in mind when you're working on it. Something to know. <laughs> and you can see down here too, you can use the 12 by 12 mat or the 12 by 24 inch mat. And also take a look down here by this bottom right where it says go, there's a shopping cart and it says zero dollars. Well, it's no money because this is an SVG I imported, so it doesn't cost me anything to cut it. Any images you own, it won't cost. So I pressed go, and this is what comes up next. It shows all the mats, and um, my Explorer isn't connected right now, so you're not saying that, but you go ahead and you just load it, and then you make sure to set your dial at the right setting for cardstock or whatever, and you just press the go button on your machine. There's only three buttons on your machine plus the dial. So not hard to figure out. And it will blink. And when you're ready to put a new mat in, it makes a very, very slight little ee, ee, ee sound. So it's kind of interesting. I'll be playing that and showing you how to cut with that a little bit later, but this video is already sneaking up to being kind of long. So that's pretty much it. There you have it, uploading an SVG and going ahead and getting it ready to cut. Take care.